Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We have another hybrid in the shop. This time it's a 2013 Hyundai Sonata. Sonata hybrid. Hmm. Blue drive. What's the customer complaint? Well, the customer just bought this car a few weeks ago. At a really sketchy small car used dealership, used car dealership, down in Virginia. And, uh, well, <laughs> um, he didn't have a professional look it over before he purchased it. As he was driving back, he noticed some issues. He said his coolant temperature gauge was uh, kind of going up and down. He opened the hood, he saw coolant just spraying out out of the overflow you can see there's signs of coolant everywhere uh, when he brought it here I felt this hose there's nothing in, in the radiator right now but the hose was pressurized also he says his heat doesn't work inside the car all red flags for a blown head gasket really really bad um, this car has 124,000 miles so it's out of warranty and uh, he was like, he contacted the dealer and he's like, what the heck? And the dealer was so sketchy that I guess he didn't read the fine print here. It says, buyers have the opportunity to inspect and check the vehicle before buying. All sales are final with no return or refund. Absolutely no returns or refunds for sold used vehicles. Uh-oh. However... When he texted the seller, the seller said that he would warranty the engine for one month. Well, he's got a week left on that text message. Um, this is a really bad situation. So he brought it here for a complete thorough diagnosis. Um, we're going to do all the checks to see if this head gasket is blown or why this car is drinking coolant and blowing it out. So, I mean, it, it's a bad situation. So I did scan it for codes, obviously. Pre-scan, absolutely no trouble codes stored anywhere in the car. So this is going to be a purely mechanical problem with the engine. So what's the game plan? I want to, you know, right now it's cooled down. Um, I want to top off the radiator with coolant. Start this thing up and see if it's blowing bubbles out of the radiator into our funnel. Then close the radiator cap, you know, turn on the heat see if that works, see if the water pump is good, um, basically check the entire system, then we'll close the radiator cap, take it for a test drive, see how it runs, see if we lose heat, see if it starts puking coolant, and then um, I do want to pull the spark plugs out, you know, leave the system pressurized, and see if the coolant is leaking into the combustion chambers. So, should be a pretty straightforward, quick diagnosis here. By the way, the engine just fired up. Yeah, there's a little shake to it. Not bad. Not like it just swallowed a cup of coolant. But maybe it's so low that... <laughs> Guys, it's already bubbling into the overflow. I don't think the pressure is above the cap. Let's see. So, there's almost nothing in there. Let's top it off and do some checks. All right, so I got a gallon of coolant here. Let's see how low the level is. Keep in mind that there's probably a big air bubble in the heater core. So that was about a quart. Let's run the car, look for bubbles, and see if there's heat inside the cabin. By the way, all the tires on this thing are absolutely shot, bald. How can you buy a car in this state? 
I think he paid about six grand for it, which, I mean, for a car that's basically dead is a pretty bad deal. EV mode. All right, let's turn on the heat. So it's high and high. Let's see if uh, our coolant bubbles through there. I'm gonna turn on some accessories so this thing stays running. Oh yeah, big bubbles coming out. See if the uh, heater hoses get hot. So this thing has it's, uh, it's bubbling. There's a mechanical water pump right there, which is nice. But then it has this thing. I don't know what this is. Is it some water cool generator, perhaps? I don't see any big wires coming out of it. I really don't know. Let's let it uh, stabilize here. Unless that's just combustion gases leaking more and more and more. <laughs> this thing must have a pretty big leak if, uh, if you can't pump any coolant through the heater core. These hoses are still pretty cold. Grabbing coolant temp, we're at 150 degrees. It's still just consistently going blup, blup, blup. Still no heat in the cabin. Crazy. So this thing just shut off on its own. Still bubbling. And uh, for the heater cord, there is an auxiliary coolant pump, which is you know typical on hybrids right here. And both of these hoses are cold. So I'm just wondering how the system's laid out. You know, here's the upper hose. It's just crazy, it's bubbling a lot. I'm wondering if there's coolant in these hoses. There should be. Why is it not circulating? I don't know if that pump has to be commanded on. I wonder if there's a bi-directional control we can do. Hmm. By the way, we want to check the, uh, the engine oil. I actually surprisingly don't see a milkshake in there. Now the owner, I think he just changed the oil so it looks fairly clean and fresh. So that's inconclusive. Alright, so this thing is full of coolant. I put the radiator cap on. Let's take it for a test drive with the heat on, monitor the coolant temp on the scanner and see if it starts blowing, you know, blowing coolant or, or what happens, misfires. And then we'll pull it in here with the system pressurized, pull out the spark plugs, see if uh, there's anything interesting going on inside the cylinders. Alright, let's see how this thing uh, accelerates. Actually, it feels like it's shifting regular gears. So it feels uh, more like a regular car versus a you know, Prius or something.
We're at 204 degrees on the coolant temp. Is it already overheating? 210, wow. So we're about 215 degrees. If we keep running the engine, 218, 216, 215. So let's see if the, uh, the radiator's hot. See if there's any circulation in this thing. So we have major bubblage going on in our reservoir. This does not feel like it's full of coolant anymore. These hoses are still, this one's a little warm, but mostly cold. Um, where is the lower hose? I think this one right here. That, that one's cold. It's making sounds. So this is, hose is hot, that hose is cold. Definitely a uh, buildup of gases here, and you can see it's bubbling. So my question is still, is that water pump doing anything? Smoke coming out from the back. Is it some kind of auxiliary pump? Guys, I don't know. <laughs> so we're up to 224 degrees here after coming back to the shop. So, I don't know, we have to check circulation through the radiator. Obviously there's no circulation through the heater core. Let's pop out some spark plugs to see if there's any coolant leaking into the combustion chambers. Because uh, we're still not sure. There's no, no circulation, but is it because of an air pocket that's caused by a bad head gasket? Or it could be a failed water pump. You know, a plastic impeller or something that's loose, not pumping the fluid through. Uh, so we're not done with this diagnosis yet. <laughs> this is too funny. It popped off the uh, overflow cap. You can see the coolant level is here now. Not much pressure in the system, but there's no more liquid in here. It's all air. So, you know, is the boiling point of the coolant less and it's boiling? Or is, there, is it combustion gases? If we had a five gas analyzer, we could easily check that. But uh, let's pull some spark plugs, pressurize the system, top it off again, see if there's anything leaking into the cylinders. By the way, I'm smelling the... Uh, the coolant, it smells like combustion gases. It's that kind of toxic smell. But let's take a peek inside the cylinders. I took all four spark plugs out. They actually look even, nice. No uh, crazy deposits or anything. And there's no misfires. There's absolutely nothing in the radiator, you can see. Fluid is coming back from the overflow to here. Nothing. So let's fill it up and pressurize the system just using some compressed air and see if the coolant starts leaking into any of the combustion chambers. Oh yeah, we're absolutely done. So I'm just using a, you know, filled it up with coolant using some compressed air to pressurize the system. Holy crap, that's a river of coolant. Right into cylinder number three. Let's check, let's check all of them. There's cylinder number one. Holy crap! <laughs> Did you see that? It's just a complete shot out. That's insanity. How is this car running so smoothly with no misfires? So that's, that's all the proof we need. As soon as it starts, combustion gases fill the coolant jacket with uh, 
I mean, that's it. There's no flow at all. This engine's junk. I would not even replace a head gasket seeing that. The block is probably warped. The head is probably warped. Um, so this guy got a complete lemon from this scam used car dealer. Um, I'll document everything, take pictures, and obviously, you know, he'll have this video for reference too, but he needs to make it, you know, he's got a week left of his supposed uh, word of, um, you know, not even written warranty. This, this is ridiculous. So if you're buying a used car, especially from some official, you know, dealer or small car dealer or whatever, get the warranty in writing, absolutely no questions asked. If the price is too good to be true, well, this is why. This is the worst one I've ever seen. I don't know if we can blame Hyundai for this or if it overheated and warped the head and they just kind of shipped it. But that that's insane. You pressurize the system, it just blows coolant into the combustion chamber. Crazy. Um, so that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.